Hi guys, I thought I'd uh, do another video for you. Sorry about the vape. <laughs> um, this video is about my uh, Quantum V2s. Now, when I first got these, I modded them to high heaven. Um, and after using them for a, a couple of months, uh, especially after I'd just built that, well, you've got to say hello to my baby first. This is uh, my first build. It's a uh, a ZMR 230. I cut the arms down. I've actually lowered the top by a good 8 mil, and uh, I really enjoyed doing it. That's my first build, and it's pretty clean. Anyway, when I'd finished doing that, I was I was bored, so I thought, what? Well, let's remod my Quantums. And while I took them apart, I had a few ideas pop into my head, which I'm going to share with you now, because it's going to be uh, really beneficial to you guys that wear glasses. Now for me, um, looking at a screen that's that close to my face, I actually need to wear glasses. And originally where the screen would normally sit is there. Uh, and the Fresnel lens at its full extent would normally go to where that finger is. Um, and it does nothing when it's that close. You know, it doesn't really start to adjust until you know you're so far away. And by the time you're there, you're at near the end of your adjustment. Um, so mounting the screen on the front is a must. But this time around when I did it, um, I actually put, uh, it's, it was about four mil thick foam around the edge. Um, double sided tape that on, then I stuck my screen to that, then taped it round. So by doing that, I've got a extra distance. So now when the Fresnel lens is that it's full adjustment I've got a lot more to play with it's giving you an extra inch basically but I do have more because since I extended that and there was a part I thought well I'm going to extend the sides I thought I'd add uh, some extra adjustments on there as well so what I did with this and you need a razor blade not a Stanley blade a razor blade, one of these. Um, about five mil off each side. Well, I did five mil off the front edge, and I think I've done almost ten mil off the back edge. This is considerably longer than what it is when it's standard. I know you won't tell by looking at it on the screen, but it is. Um, all I did is I marked it down, just scored it with my nail where I wanted to take it to. Cut down with the razor. Now, because you've got this chamfered edge on the side nothing to worry about if you cut down and then when you get to the level that you want then tilt your blade go down that last little bit then we, if you want to cut this angle just put it flat on there take it across and just give it slightly a few wiggles up and down as you do it and you'll get your perfect angle shape um, so now I've got an extra 10 to 15 mil adjustment there as well which helps because you know I do need glasses when I'm looking at this screen. So since I've actually done that, extended that and put the screen a little bit further out, I can actually see pretty clear now. Um, it, it's not blurry or anything. Now, I did this, did this when I first modded it, I put foam on. This is just ordinary eight millimeter camp bed foam. Uh, this time when I've put the blue on, because I had the red stuff before, this now fits my face a little bit better because I've put the extra little pieces on the sides because there's always a gap I could always get my finger down the side of my forehead because I've only got a little pinhead um, you can't actually put this this foam down the side though because if you do wear glasses when you look at your screen the arm of your glasses will catch on here so this has got to be reasonably very very soft foam and that blocks a little bit of the light as well so you know that's something you can actually put on I reshaped the nose comb um, the one thing I noticed on the inside, the actual angle um, originally of it is quite steep um, and because now I've adjusted my Fresnel lens at the side to come back further what I've done, I've actually cut down on the nose and then squared it off so I could actually bring it even closer to my face then um, you know you don't cut down too far back because obviously you'll you'll see through here then but what I've done here anyway is just covered that with a bit of black 
black felt and uh, now it's sh it shaped on my nose and it fits nice um, the other mods that everybody does is put a bit of velcro on on the sides and on the bottom that will keep the sleeve you know nice and firm and grip nice and tight because the worst thing is when you're using it and you can feel the sleeve coming off or the battery pack moving um, so it's quite annoying now this is another little snazzy trick now, when I was cutting that side I thought well because I always seal mine up I don't like to keep taking them apart and I, I don't like taking the Fresnel lens out the front way because it is really awkward I thought aha if I cut an extra notch now this width here is actually the width of the Fresnel lens probably with an extra couple of mil added uh, this is a piece of really tough hard foam. It is still squashy, but it's a lot tougher than the camp bed foam. Uh, this is 8mm stuff, by the way. Got to put that in. It really grips your, your Fresnel lens really well. But this foam is a little bit tougher. And I've cut it slightly oversized so I could squash it in there. And it's not going to let any light in. And it's nice and solid. So, if I got to the stage where I wanted to... Um, take my Fresnel lens out to either clean it or change it all I'd do is push that in that would drop inside the goggles I'd move the Fresnel lens to the center twist it then I could pull it out through the foam remembering before you put it back in to get your piece of foam back out to go back in there after and that's it basically they're all the mods I've done so put some foam around the front, it's about 5mm thick, but it's got to be that hard foam, the, the kind of stuff that you get in the packaging of vape tanks and things like that, that type of foam. Double sided tape to it, sticky screen to it, bit of tape around the outside, that's done. Then mark down, cut across, do it on both sides, that will give you extra adjustment. Stick all your foam on, that was easy enough done. Uh, I did try and melt that with a soldering iron to smooth it all off, but it's that's not worth doing. Just cut it as neat as you can and leave it. It's not really seen anyway because it's got the sleeve on, so and as long as it's comfortable to your face, who cares? And that's it. Um, so I thought I'd share that with you because that's a, a few little ideas that nobody's done. Um, I don't. Nobody used the camp bed foam anyway, and I think that's a good thing to use. So stick that in. Uh, definitely cut these out you know it takes a couple of minutes to do and it's well worth doing especially if you wear glasses because you've got that extra adjustment with the lens no messing anyway thanks for watching and uh, fly safe bye y'all yeah before you go I sort of might as well show you with the sleeve on I don't like seeing wires so when you actually look at look at mine you don't see anything or my uh, wires are tidied up underneath um, the only other thing you've got to do with this is extend um, and everyone does this as well if they've watched enough videos that is um, extend your um, I think it's the power yeah extend the power all I did was uh, cut it off just before the end added about three inches um, twisted it taped it up because when your receiver's actually in its normal pocket the leads wouldn't quite reach so adding that extra three inches allows you to get all your cables nice and tidy so uh, yeah that's it anyway thought I'd show you with the sleeve on no wire showing nice and tidy fits great works perfectly now if you add those extra mods and the blue and black looks pretty cool so uh, yeah catch you later